Today we're going to compare three 200 watt LED lights that may look the same, but have some interesting features once you look closer. The Godox Lightmon LA200B is a 230 watt light at $349. The Fieldworld FL225B is a 225 watt light at about $280. And the Colbert CL220 is a 220 watt light for $320. And those are just three of the 200 watt LED range you can get. Nanlite, Aperture, Small Rig, and a whole slew of non name brands are making similar lights as well. So, how can you choose? We'll choose one at random then. Actually, there is a reason for comparing all those entry level 200 watt lights. Because the 200 watt bicolor light to LED is what a 15mm 1.8 lens is to lenses. Everybody makes them, so it's easy to compare. I'm going to review those three lights, but also share some thoughts about how to choose an LED in a world of lighting saturation. You tell me how I'm supposed to do that. First, the commons. All three lights are at the range of 200 watts. They all have a balance mount, and you fit them all with a laptop-style power brick. Even the light output is similar. Just so you see how much we have advanced, here's a 200 watt light from seven years ago. Oh my God, the size. So what makes you choose one LED over the other? Well, here are some ideas that can help you choose your next LED light. The first thing you need to ask yourself is, does this light has what I need? If you need a light that has a 1200 watts output and Nanlite is the only one in the market who makes it, go for the Nanlite. Likewise, if you need a 2400 plus watt light and only Aperture makes it, then go with Aperture. For our specific case, the 200 watt light case, you probably need a decent output and a good color rendition. So either the Fill World or Colbor will do. As you can see, I'm only talking entry level lights here, the ones that use a brick power source and plastic housing. So what's the second reason? It's the ecosystem. If you already own a bunch of lights for one brand, your next light will probably be from the same company. It would have the same app, the same ability to group and sequence, and a familiar interface. So if you own a set of Godox tubes and panels, you will probably go for the light mod. I think it's safe to say that Aperture, Godox, and Nanolite offer the most solid ecosystem in the market today. The Godox Lightman here works with our TL60 tubes, for example. But what about lights that are not in the big three? Well, if you're just starting to build your kit, I think that Colbert is a safe bet as well. They keep coming out with new lights and adding innovative features like splicing and grid control. Check out our review on the CL60 in the card or in the link below. So we have features and ecosystem, but there is one more. Budget. Come on, Mr. President. Show me the money. In the end, especially when you're starting out, money matters. And if the choice is between no lights or the lights that you can afford, you may as well get what you can. The Film World sells for $279, which is a great find for the features. Now let's look closely at each of the lights. All three lights feature a swivel type mount, which is to be expected from a light at this price range. But the Colbor is made of a metal shell while the other two are plastic. All three lights feature a case, a power brick with a generous cable, and Fill World being the most generous here, and a standard reflector. All three have a Bluetooth app, a small LCD, and a set of dials and buttons on the back. So pretty much very similar lights. But each of those lights have a strong point. You can splice the colbers together to get a single light source, and you can also control an entire group from one light. The light mount from Godox is the smallest and has the biggest ecosystem, although it is about 30% dimmer. And the film world is the most budget-friendly. So, if you're looking for a light that has a whole ecosystem, I would consider the Godox Lightmon. If you're looking for a budget option with a lot of features, the Fill World may be a great option for you. And if you're looking for a light family that is a bit more sturdier, Try the call bore. I'm Udi Tivas from DIYphotography.net. I hope you've learned something about LEDs today. Hit the like button, the share button, the just hit all the buttons that you see today, and I'll be seeing you in the next video.